weekend it's fourth of july weekend so we traveled up here just for fun like a fun getaway it was originally going to be colorado arizona or idaho there's a half price books in idaho but there's also one in arizona so that narrowed it down between arizona and idaho and we decided idaho because it's much closer to where we live i am getting ready right now technically we got here friday and it's saturday so Last night we got here, we hung out, just did some fun, fun things, had dinner, read, but it was so weird because it gets dark here. The sun sets so much later than it does in Utah, which I, I was not used to. So at 10 o'clock, the sun had just set and it was the weirdest thing. This is just going to be a chill reading vlog. I really want to go to a couple of bookstores today and especially half price books half price books looks like the bookstore of my dreams where you have some really well-known books that are half price basically so i'm really excited to go there i actually am getting ready right now because i am going to meet faith faith is another booktuber and i'll put her channel right here she is seriously amazing i love her so much we just started talking more recently and i feel like i've known her my whole life which is really cool and so we're actually meeting up this morning and we're gonna go get some coffee i am reading the summer broken rolls i just started it last night and so far i am liking it i actually really wanted to pick it up because the author just came out with a new fun cute summary book and i'm like you know what i need to read the summer of broken rules because not only is it on my tbr for june but it's also i want to get into that author and see if i like her and then if i do i'll pick up her new book a lot of you guys told me that i should read part of your world before i read yours truly which yours truly was on my June TBR, so I decided not to read it. I'm going to take your all's advice and read every, wait, what's it called? Part of your world. So I wanna see if they have it at half price books. Ian and I also have like 10 books that we're going to donate as well. Um, well, I guess you're not donating it because they're giving you cash back. And so we're hoping we'll get a little bit of cash to use towards the books that we buy. I am just going to treat this vlog as a reading vlog and a book shopping vlog, basically, because we are going to go book shopping. And I'm really, really excited to hopefully find a lot of books that I can bring back home with me that I would get so much cheaper at half price books than I would at a Barnes and Noble. Anne and I have to leave really soon, so I'm going to hurry and get ready. And then let's go meet up with Faith. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. I am all ready. I am just wearing overalls and it is so hot here in Idaho. I was not expecting it to be this scorching hot. So I just, <laughs> I actually have this like workout top <laughs> on underneath because it is just way too hot for like a t-shirt. And I just know I'm gonna like, It'd be so sweaty if I wear a t-shirt, so I'm just going to wear this. Let's go get some coffee and then let's go book shopping. I 
it's so cute. Guys, I'm with Faith. It's like my two worlds are colliding right now. I know, I'm like, I feel like I'm watching a, an in-person YouTube video. I know. I like, know. Like that is so cool. Like there's one, that one, the deep at the that way. Deep at the sky, red as the sea. That cover. Hi guys. Okay, we just got done hanging out with Faith, and now we are going to go to Half Price Books. You would be so proud of me. I saw a lot of books that I wanted to pick up, but I did not get. I actually want to look for a few of them at Half Price Books. We're also wanting to go to the Barnes and Noble, so it's just going to be a fun book shopping day. all of the books that I got at Half Price Books. I feel like I scored, honestly. I had, I only got three books, but I definitely could have gotten, I think I had like six or seven. The first book that I'm probably the happiest about, I think this is the one that I scored the most, is Crescent City. I got it for $8.99, which is absolutely crazy because this book is normally $18, so I just had to pick it up, $10 off, and it's in really good condition. Because it's readily accessible, I can just pick it up whenever I want and finally read Crescent City, but that'll be a while before I get to it because I want to read Throne of Glass first. But because of the price, and I'm going to read it eventually, it was too good of a deal not to pick it up. The next one I got, I have had my eye on this book. I think since February. I think February or somewhere around there was the first time I ever saw this book and I wanted it at that time and never got it. It's called Without a Hitch. This is a rom-com and ever since The Honeymooners, I have really been into rom-coms and this one sounds so funny. Basically, it's like about this girl who is a wedding planner, but she has to plan her ex's wedding. And I love this little, it's not a blurb, but it's like a little spot right there. It says, ringless, jobless, and hopeless. Lottie commits to doing the only thing she truly studied in school, wedding planning. It sounds really cute and just, it sounds like a really fun book that I will enjoy. So I wanna, I, I'm really happy I got that. And I got it for $10 off. The next one I got, I actually have never heard of before. And it sounds really good, but a little bit different for me. We all know that I am especially into books that have good banter. And so I saw Taylor Jenkins Reid has a blurb on this book. It's called A Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting. And it sounds so good, you guys, it sounds so good. Basically, my understanding is the main character, her dad has acquired um, a lot of debt. She has 12 weeks to go and find herself a wealthy husband or her family will be 
ruined. Ruined. This is a Regency, I don't know if it's a rom-com, but it sounds like it is because apparently the banter is just unmatched. Basically, she ends up going to, I believe, London to try and find a husband, but there's like a battle going on, I believe. So anyway, it sounds super funny. She runs into this guy named Lord Radcliffe, and it seems like he sees through her plan. Like he knows that she is not exactly trying to find a husband. She's trying to find someone that will pay off her family's debts. And so he sees right through all of that, and he's trying to destroy her plan, basically. Please let me know if any of you guys have read this. I am super excited about it. Those are all of the books that I got. I started the Summer of Broken Rules and last night I made it to page 50. So I'm excited to continue reading that today. Basically right now, the Summer of Broken Rules is about the main character, Meredith, and her and her family, they go to Martha's Vineyard every single summer except the past couple of summers because she lost her sister. And I haven't figured out what has happened to her sister yet, but just from kind of like context clues, I think maybe she was in some kind of an accident, maybe a car accident. So they're going for Meredith, her cousin's wedding. And so once they get there, they're seeing all their family again, but this time it's not just her family, since it's a wedding, it's the groom's family as well, and then friends and yeah, da, 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 da. In honor of Meredith's sister, the bride and groom, they tell everyone that they're going to play one of Claire's favorite games, which is Assassins. And so this is a huge game going on on Martha's Vineyard. Right now, Meredith, she has just formed an alliance with one of the rivals. So I'm really excited to keep reading this. That's enough talking from me. Let's go outside and do some reading.